Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph the ellipse. Um, one thing I noticed about this ellipse though is that if I was going to divide and set it equal to 1, that my um, denominators under x and y are going to be exactly the same. So since they're going to be exactly the same, I don't have a major or minor axis. Therefore, um, my eccentricity is just going to be 1. So therefore, it's, I'm going to have a perfect circle. So since I have a perfect circle, I need to look at this and say, oh yeah, the, the equation for a perfect circle, or just a circle, not has to be all circles uh, perfect, um, would be x minus h squared times, or plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So now all I simply need to do is determine the center as well as what uh, the radius is. So the center is h comma k, which is positive 1, 4, right? It's x opposite of h x opposite of 1. So it would be 1, 4. And then r squared equals 34. So I take the square root, take the square root. r equals the square root of 34. Now the square root of 34 is going to be a decimal. Um, that's going to be between 5 and 6, because 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36. So it's going to be somewhere in, in between there. Uh, so now just to graph this, all I first do is find my center, which is 1, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again, I said it's like 5 and a decimal. Let's just uh, you can use your calculator if you like to, but I'm just trying to estimate. So it's roughly going to be five and a half, you know, a little bit larger than five and a half in all directions. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So pretty much what I'll do is go six units each way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So then um, I'll just make kind of a point at each one. I'll try to do my best to draw a lovely circle. So, um, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you uh, graph the equation of a circle. Thanks.